Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing yet another headband wig video. This is like my fifth headband wig video that I have on my channel, but this one's gonna be a burgundy one. So I started off with freshly washed hair. I'm using this spray oil stuff and I put that like mainly on the perimeter of my hair, mainly on my edges. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and tie up one side of my hair. I'm working one section at a time and I'm using some more conditioner and some water and I'm finger detangling through my hair. Once I'm done with that side, I'm tying it up and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side um, using water and more conditioner. Once I get done with that side, I'm combining my hair. I made sure to get the back of my head too because I missed out on that part when I was doing the sides here. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use some gel. I'm using my normal everyday uh, Wetline Extreme Gel. I have a big bottle of it, so I'm trying to use it all up before I buy another one or anything else. Uh, I'm using my hard bristle brush and I'm brushing my hair back into a low bun. For this one, I was a little bit lazy and my bun was not completely flat. My hair was not completely slicked down. If you wanna do braids, that probably would be a lot easier and better to do. I don't really know how to braid like that, like cornrow braid. But if you wanna do that and make your hair super flat underneath the wig, then go ahead and do that. But this is how I did it. Like I said, I was a little bit lazy when I was doing this part. Um, I didn't even tie or secure the bun. I just put the wig cap on top of it and the bun was not completely flat, but I went ahead with it. Um, I was not going out after this, so I didn't really care that much. Now I'm using my edge booster and I'm just doing my edges. Um, this part, you guys can just watch me do my edges. I did a little swoop there on the front and then everything else I did kind of normal. So you can just watch me do my edges here. So once I'm done doing my edges on that side, I gotta make sure to tuck in my edges or any hair that's sticking out into the wig cap. And this is what it looks like once I'm done with my edges. Now I'm moving on to the wig. This is what the wig looks like, the packaging um, and how I got it. This wig I bought from Amazon. Um, I'll leave the link and everything down below so you guys can get it yourselves. It came with some eyelashes, um, a wig cap, and then a couple headbands or two different headbands. One of them is like this uh, leopard cheetah print headband that's a little bit brown, tan. This is what it looks like. And it has like that little knot thing in the front too for both of them. And the other one is like that tropical kind of print there. And this is what the wig looks like once I took it out of the packaging. This wig, as you can see, is burgundy. Um, it's all burgundy. It doesn't have like the black roots. So... I mean, that's fine with me. I don't know if you would want to maybe like dye it yourself, but it does have all burgundy. It's not like black roots and then burgundy ends. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like when I take it out. It's curly, um, has a little Velcro in the back there, has clips in the front, clips in the back, and yeah. Now putting the wig on, um, I'm just clipping it to my hair. Um, I did it in the front. I had actually three clips in the front that I did, and then I did one in the back, and then I'm Velcroing the strap there the headband to the back and this is what the headband looks like on um i haven't put any product or anything in it this is fresh out of the bag and put it on my head so i was gonna do a half up down um thing but i decided not to later on but right now i'm tying that section up and i just wanted to see what it would look like again this is the hair with no product in it or anything i kind of did not like this wig um you can kind of tell on my face, but I went ahead and tried to like fix it a little bit and put some water and I'm using that same Pantene mousse that I've used in other videos. Also, this wig is water wave. That's the texture of this wig. For me personally, I don't really like water wave wigs because I feel like they're not like, they don't have a lot of volume. That's what I feel like when I get a water wave wig. 
water wave wig compared to a curly wig i feel like this one i don't like water wave wigs so i try to stay away from them but i want to try it out also this wig is very thin you can kind of see as i'm putting the product in the hair how it's a lot of gaps in the wig and it's just you'll see more towards the end also when i show the final result but this wig was pretty thin i also ordered a 26 inch wig and this is not 26 inches um i ordered this wig myself off amazon so it's not sponsored or anything like that and i believe this is probably like a 24 maybe inch wig so other than that i feel like the wig was thin it was kind of not the length that i wanted it to be it was still long but not the length not 26 inches um, but this is what it looks like and how long it is on me, how where it goes in the front. This is where it is in the back and how far it is and where it lands on me. It is still a little bit thin in the back as you can see. Um, and this is like the back part of the wig, like at the top. This is how it looks and you can see the tracks as you can see. So this wig definitely gets like a, I'm going to give this like a 3 out of 10. I love the color of the wig. The only thing that's throwing me off is the like length of the wig and how thick it is. Everything else though, I loved how the wig fit on me and everything, um, the velcro, the clips, all that is nice. This is what it looks like with the two headbands also. Both of the headbands I really liked so that was good. But this is the final result and how the hair looks and how it turned out. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!